This is the Sabbath School lesson for the third quarter, 2021. Lesson one from the series Rest in Christ is titled Living in a 24-7 Society, ready for teaching on July 3, and I'm Percy Harold. Friday, July 2. From the book The Desire of Ages, page 362, we read... In the estimation of the rabbis, it was the sum of religion to be always in a bustle of activity. They depended upon some outward performance to show their superior piety. Thus, they separated their souls from God and built themselves up in self-sufficiency. The same dangers still exist. As activity increases and men become more successful in doing any work for God, there is danger of trusting to human plans and methods. There is a tendency to pray less and to have less faith. Like the disciples, we are in danger of losing sight of our dependence on God and seeking to make a saviour of our activity. We need to look constantly to Jesus, realising that it is His power which does the work. While we are to labour earnestly for the salvation of the lost, we must also take time for meditation, for prayer, and for the study of the Word of God. Only the work accomplished through much prayer and sanctified by the merit of Christ will, in the end, prove to have been efficient for good. End of quote. And that brings us to our four discussion questions for this week. One, the constant pressure of being on top of things, being available physically or virtually all the time, and trying to live up to ideals that are neither realistic nor God-given can make people sick emotionally, physically and spiritually. How can your church become a welcoming place for worn-out, tired people yearning for rest? Two, Is it possible that we are too busy even doing good things for God? Think about the story of Jesus and his disciples in Mark 6, verses 30 to 32, and discuss its applications in your Sabbath school group. Chapter 6 of Mark, beginning at verse 30, Then the apostles gathered to Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said to them, Come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat. So they departed to a deserted place in the boat by themselves. 3. In 1899, a speed record had been broken. Someone had actually gone 39.24 miles per hour in a car and lived to tell about it. Today, of course, cars go much faster than that, and the speed of the processors in our cell phones are much faster than the fastest large computers of a generation ago. And air travel is faster than it used to be, and is getting even faster. The point is that almost everything we do today is done faster than it was in the past, and yet what? We still feel hurried and without enough rest. What should that tell us about basic human nature and why God would have made rest so important that it is one of his commandments. And four, dwell more on the idea that even in Eden, before sin, the Sabbath rest had been instituted. Besides the interesting theological implication of this truth, what should this tell us about how rest was needed even in a sinless, perfect world? Inside Story Our mission story this week is titled Flip Flops and Fights and it's by Andrew McChesney of Adventist Mission. Everything seemed strange to six-year-old Danae when he arrived in the United States with his father, mother and six older siblings. Cars filled the streets of their new hometown. Danae hadn't seen many cars in the refugee camp in Thailand where his family had lived after fleeing violence in their native Myanmar. Before, the family had lived in a bamboo home without air conditioning and running water, and Danae had bathed in a river. Now, everything was in the house. Danae thanked God for the new home. Danae arrived at public school wearing flip-flops, and the teacher immediately sent him home. The staff member who drove him home told his mother how to find the shoe store. But neither of his parents could drive or speak English, 
so a relative took him to the store to buy his first pair of shoes. Danae returned to school the next day, but it was a difficult year. Some children treated refugees unkindly, and one of his brothers got into fights. Then a Seventh-day Adventist befriended the family and helped Danae transfer to a church school for second grade. Scholarship funds from a 13th Sabbath offering helped cover his tuition. Danae was happy to be in the church school with kind and friendly classmates. He had heard about God from his Christian parents at home, but now he was reading the Bible for himself at school. He wanted to learn more, and as he grew older, he joined various Bible study groups. His faith came to the test when he was twelve. One day, his father collapsed outside the house after working in the garden. No one knew how to call the ambulance, so family members lifted him into a car and rushed him to the hospital. Danae was devastated. That night, he tossed and turned. He prayed like never before. God, please help my dad to recover. And he said, If he does recover, I will get baptised and devote myself to you. Three days later, he saw his father in the hospital. The once strong man looked pale and frail. The physician said he had suffered a stroke. Danae continued to pray. Weeks passed and his father slowly improved. When he came home, Danae made good on his promise to God. He was baptised. His father died of cancer five years later, but Danae, 17, is glad that he gave his heart to Jesus. After getting baptised, I began to read the Bible more, pray more and talk to God more, he said. The more I did these things, the happier I felt. God is always watching, and He is always going to be there for me. I always feel thankful. A 2011 13 Sabbath offering helped refugee children like Danae receive study in Adventist schools in the North American Division. Part of this quarter's offering will again help refugee children obtain an Adventist education in North America. Thank you for planning a generous offering. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.